hey, buddy, buddy, gather around me now. Have you Just guys seen that theory floating around the internet about Jar Jar Binks? Yes. The racist the fish man from Phantom Menace? Misa called Jar Jar Binks. Misa, your humble servant. What? Or is he? Theory. Right. Sort of blowing up on Reddit and spreading out as Reddit things do. Uh, this user, Lumpawaru. Uh, oh, sure. That's Chewbacca's son from the. Mm -hmm. Chewbacca's son. With the Matt Dillon teeth. Yes. The... So Lumpawaru has put forth this theory on the internet that Jar Jar Binks was basically pretending to be the idiot that we hated in yeah. The Phantom Menace. Planning out, there will be a reveal in the later movies that he was actually this dark force user. What? Like the greatest Sith Lord in the galaxy. Tis demanded by the gods it is! Uh, the one. Like Jet Li? Not like Jet Li, like... Like Darth Jet Li. Darth Jet Li. Okay, I'm on board now. You're gonna have to unpack this for me because... Okay, you know in The Phantom Menace, Jar Jar is always bumbling about and messing things up. Yeah. Uh, in the final battle, I remember those. He gets, he gets like a gun caught on him, and then he like sure. shoots a bunch of robots accidentally, yeah. and all these sort of uh, moments that he stumbles into luck. He's very mm. lucky in mm. in the prequels. Yeah, right. And it's dumb because like does Obi Wan say about luck though. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. And he also in combat uses drunken fist style. It's where you like like the the Reddit thread yeah. lines up this master of it. Right. You see him kicking up there. And it's all there. the same move. It's all this like same thing where you look very silly, but you're mm -hmm. actually a very skilled fighter. They are remarkably similar. Remarkably similar. Even he. Uh, does that 20 foot leap and somersault right. into oh, the yeah. swamp. Okay. Yeah, and he's also capable of mind control. Surprise! Surprise. Because he's the top Sith Lord. Win! So there's a lot of scenes where like, Jar Jar's in the room and he does, you know, like the, these aren't the droids you're looking for. Like here he is with Boss Nass being like, oh, I don't know, wave, 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 wave. We Suddenly he's a general. Bombard general. There's another scene where he's talking to Padme. Talk, 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 waving my hand. Suddenly he's a senator. It's a heavy burden. Then we see him in the Senate chamber. Talk, 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 wave my hands. Let's not have a democracy anymore. Now there's not a democracy anymore. Emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. How, do, how does a dumb fish monster who no one's ever met or heard of make all these fantastical things happen for him? That does line uh, up in a weird Pink Floyd sort of way. Right, there are all these other moments even where he makes characters say things. Here's just Captain Panaka is saying, oh, the queen wants her handmaiden to go with you to the shit Tatooine sure. town. As Panaka is speaking, you can see Jar Jar is mouthing the words along with him. He's making him say those words. Like in this scene where he's right behind Padme and suddenly makes Padme say something really mean and weird. Well, I don't approve. Like, why is he there? He's, he's hiding. Yeah. I just assumed he was waiting for Qui-Gon to come push her over. There's also, here's Qui-Gon talking to little Annie on this platform. You cut to the wide and Jar Jar is clearly eavesdropping on this conversation. He's just I, perched there like a gargoyle. There's a scene where their Palpatine is talking to a bunch of senators and Jar Jar is just outside the window, just sitting. Yep. Speaking of mind control, so remember how there's always a bigger fish? There's always a bigger fish. So. They're being chased by this fish, and it's uh -huh. super dangerous, oh no. Jar Jar passes out. Passes out. He's like, oh no, I'm so scared, blah, 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 and then he's yeah, passed right. out. And then the, the bigger fish shows up, chomps down on the little one. Uh -huh. The bigger fish's eyes glow the same color as Jar Jar's eyes. And then Jar Jar wakes up after they're saved and like is chewing a little bit. And he's like, oh, everything's fine, thank goodness. He yeah. went into that bigger fish, he warged into it. Warged into it, yeah, yeah. ate the little one, and then woke up. He's a skinwalker. There's even this uh, this quote from an old interview um, where he says like, well, I guess you could say, I do regret not following my heart with regard to my original vision for the rest of the prequels. Certain characters and certain surprises, but you also have to give the fans what they want, and Star Wars fans are certainly very vocal. Right, he's he, always been great about giving the fans what they <laughs> right. want. Well, he, so he clearly had it's characters true. and surprises that he just scrapped. He was clearly meant to be evil, but since there was such a bad fan reaction, he was like, oh, I can't do what I'm gonna do, which was steal more stuff from Foundation, which is a Isaac Asimov book series. The mule is this guy who hangs around in the background all the time and found in the second and third Foundation books and uses his power of mind control to just influence the, the movement of things and influence people until he controls the universe. So you're telling me that we're all getting super excited over the the, the better version of this movie, which would have, instead of Count Dooku and General Grievous, it just would have been more Jar Jar. Yep. 
we're getting excited about the possibility of a prequel trilogy that had more Jar Jar in it. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Like twice the screen time that he already has. Yeah. With a, yeah. With a big yep. cartoon fight really with Yoda and Dagobah. Just, just two cartoon characters with funny Muppet voices duking it out in a swamp. Yep. Yeah. That would have been great. Yeah. Lisa called Jar Jar Binks. Hi, thank you so much for watching the video that we just showed you. Special thanks to uh, Lumpawaru, Reddit user, Reddit in general, yeah. uh, YouTubers like Motsi. This for... was, on the, was on the Star Wars sub initially, now there's the Darth Jar Jar sub if you want to talk about it. Yeah, if you want to contribute to it. So make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, you don't have to comment yeah. if you don't want to, I don't give a shit.